Okay, we are live. All right, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to Support Black Business. It is 9.56, and I want you guys to go ahead and start sharing, sharing, sharing this poll, sharing this feed. And we're going to start promptly at 10 o'clock. So if you are watching us live, make sure that you hit the one if you are watching us live and hit a two if you are watching the replay. But right now, we want you to go ahead and share, share to a, a private group, you know, of business owners, if you know one, um, share to your pages and share to your profile. All right, guys, I just want to welcome you guys to the Support Black Business. So make sure you are sharing this post. Share, share, and then share again. Make sure you place a one if you are watching this live and a two if you are hitting the replay. We're going to go ahead and get started in about two minutes. It's 9.58. Make sure you're somewhere where you can take notes and find out about our business owner that we have featured on tonight. And I want to thank you guys in advance for sharing this because it's about support. That's why we're doing this. Okay. All right, guys, if you are watching us live, we're going to get started shortly. Place a one in the comments if you are watching us live. Place a two if you are hitting the replay. This is Support Black Business Month, and that's what we are going to do for the next 29, well, 28 now, days, okay? So make sure you are sharing this to your respective pages, and you are in for a treat. We're going to get started promptly at 10 p.m., so you don't want to miss anything. Share and come back. Share and come back. All right. All right, it is 10 o'clock on the dot, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I am Stephanie J. Sanders. I am the CEO and founder of Cultivated Minds Enterprises, where we inspire, cultivate, and educate those to be the person that they never had. So all this month in February, I am doing a feature for all Black business owners. So every night at 10 p.m., we're going to come on and we're going to feature a Black business owner. So tonight, I have the pleasure of featuring Miss Dawn Smith, and her business is Restoring Balance Holistic Massage. So I'm going to let Dawn get started, and she can tell you a little bit about herself and her business. Well, thank you, Stephanie. It's an honor to be here, and I am very pleased to actually be a part of um, celebrating and supporting Black business. This is my first time because I am a brand new business owner. So Restoring Balance Holistic Massage began in April of last year, 2019, uh, approximately one year after I finished massage therapy school. 
um, in 2018, I did work at a couple of local salons and franchises and just found that I um, had a very particular style of massage, a very particular way that I wanted to present and brand myself as, as a therapist. And so being in business for myself allows me to do that. Awesome. And you do holistic massages. So for those out there that don't know the difference, can you explain the difference between a holistic massage and maybe a synthetic massage, if that's what it's called? I'm not too sure. <laughs> okay. So now it would just be massage in general. And so typically when you go to massage uh, therapist, you're either there for, you maybe have some pain, some aches, something that you need to, um, some range of motion issues that you need to be, to have worked on. Um, and so the massage therapist, of course, will, will do um, what's best for your body, um, taking into account the things that you're asking for. And it's mainly focused on your body. So a holistic massage is where I take into account your body, but as well, your spirit and your soul. So that means from a soulish perspective, what are your emotions? What emotions are you feeling? Um, are there things that you're sad about? Are there things that you're upset about? Are you holding on to tensions? Mm -hmm. Sometimes, like, do you feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders and that's causing you to have um, chronic or, you know, uh, severe shoulder or neck pain? Um, you know, certain things like that. So I look at you from, you know, the total person, which is your body, your spirit, and your soul, trying to kind of um, come up with a way to address the, the, the pain issues that are manifesting themselves in your body. That's awesome. And I know, you know, you always hear stress can kill you, you know, and it can, you know, get trapped in your body and you help with that. So that is amazing. Now I was looking at the things that you offer, um, aromatherapy, the Himalayan hot stone, um, sweetest deep tissue. Now there's two things I'm not even going to try to pronounce. <laughs> and I okay. think you know <laughs> what they are. I know what they are. Can you explain to um, the viewers what those things are <laughs> and how to pronounce it? <laughs> okay. So the first one is actually Mujing. And Mujing is a modality in which massage is given with heated sticks. So we use heated bamboo sticks and heated rosewood sticks. And those heated sticks um, will allow me as a therapist to uh, penetrate your muscles a lot deeper for like a, a, a deeper deep tissue uh, massage. And the heat, your body responds very well to heat. So that will help the muscles to relax a little bit more and for the actual massage to really uh, massage those muscles and those knots and kinks out. The second one is Lomi Lomi. Yeah. And so, and it's interesting. I, for some reason, I'd never really heard of Lomi Lomi until I started school. And I had a particular teacher who started talking about it. And just the name of it, just like, what is that? What is that? And so <laughs> exactly. I did my own research to find out really what it is and um, have taken some um, courses in um, Lomi Lomi on my own out, outside of school. And it is a Hawaiian style massage. It's more of a traditional mm -hmm. Hawaiian style massage. And the style that I learned is more of the temple style. And so it is really a very spiritual and very sacred type of massage. Um, so the strokes are long and flowy, meaning that I can start at your neck and I can flow my way down to your legs, to up underneath your legs, to coming back up to coming up underneath your arms, to your back. And so it can be as light as we need it to be. It can be as deep as we need it to be. And really it's, um, it's a style of massage that aims to connect your body, your spirit and your soul. Hawaiian people, Polynesian people are very spiritual. And so um, what they aim to do is to really just kind of bring um, to bring a holistic healing to your entire body. So again, holistic, it just kind of like blends with what I, with what I love. And so that's probably why I was just naturally attracted to the name, like, love me, love me. <laughs> and so, uh, but it's, it is a terrific style massage 
and and I actually love performing a, a lomi lomi massages. That is awesome. It sounds dope. <laughs> like <laughs> it sounds awesome. And you're here. You're located in Raleigh, so she's in Raleigh, North Carolina. So if you're in North Carolina, we have a black owned massage therapist right here that you can definitely go to. And her contact information is in the description. So make sure you reach out. She also has a uh, Facebook connections and an uh, Instagram. Follow her on Instagram. Now, do you have a um, Facebook page that you wanna tell us about? Sure, yes, I do. I do have a Facebook page and that is Restoring Balance Holistic Massage. And again, that's on Facebook. And so on that page, I actually try to um, give a little bit more information um, about just different holistic things that I find out. Um, every so often I will give you um, information about an essential oil, like maybe lavender. What is uh, lavender uh, essential oil? What's in lavender? What is it good for? I will give you health tips of, you know, things like how to drink apple cider vinegar, why you should be drinking apple cider vinegar. That is good for you. Uh, I will say this, this is a freebie. You don't ever want to take it to the head, just the apple cider oh. vinegar. It is entirely too strong for your, um, for your insides. In addition, it is very strong against your teeth. So it can wear off the enamel over time. It can wear the enamel down on your teeth and it's very strong going down your esophagus, down your digestive tract. So you always want to drink it in water, preferably mm -hmm. eight ounces of water, but at least four to six ounces of water, um, two tablespoons in it, and just and drink that on a daily basis. And that's really good for helping with your, with your complexion. Uh, it just really helps overall your organs. Um, so it's, it's a really good drink to, to make a part of your day, um, day to day living. And so on the Facebook page, I will post little things like that, just so you can kind of like be aware of things and know what's out there. So yeah, I do some of that homework for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's definitely appreciated because you know, you just see people just kind of drinking the bottle of um, apple cider vinegar nowadays, you know, mm -hmm. and to know that little tidbit. Um, there was a book, which you don't know will kill you. It was a health book. And it's little things like that, that really um, help us along the way, especially if we're in the direction of um, keeping our body fit and, you Correct. know, being holistic and, making sure we're not too stressed out and our bones are flexible and all that good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so that is awesome. Is there anything else that you would like to tell the viewers out there? You know, if you are a person who thinks that massage is for um, special occasions, uh, massage is for um, people who have money, for the elite, um, I'm here to tell you that that's not what massage is really for. Massage is for everyone. Uh, massage can be for children. Uh, massage is, is great for older, our older population. It's great for everyone. I see it as a form of health care. So you have two forms of health care. You have preventative, mm -hmm. and then you have the reactive when you have to go to the doctor because something is amiss greatly within your body. And so if you take the preventative steps of getting massage at least once a month uh, to work out some of the tension, to work out some of the tightness, uh, to get some information on how to stretch and what you're doing at the desk. You know, if you're sitting at a desk hunched over, how we can give you tips on how to pull your shoulders back, you know, elongate your torso, sit up straight. Not that you have to be rigid, but, you know, sit up straight. And so that, that helps with, with your spine that helps you with your structural posture. Uh, so making that a part of your monthly self-care routine will help you in the, in the long run. Uh, we do, I do things, uh, there are so many different types of massage, even more than what I currently offer that helps. So I generally will do, um, I, I do feet massages as well. So part of the massage is getting your your feet massaged. And so I will incorporate a little bit of reflexology. And so the art of reflexology says that I can reach your organs, your major organs and major systems through your feet, 
bottoms of your feet and the tops of your feet through your hands and also through your ears. So massaging, you know, certain points on your hand, like this point right here, solar plexus will kind of like give you just a little bit of calm. So if you find yourself like just like really hyper, you know, then you can just kind of like massage this point. And it'll help to just calm you and bring you down. So I tried to incorporate all of those things in the massage. And so I also love, I do love the bougie side of it. Let's be honest. <laughs> I love the bougie side of it. So in addition to it being preventative, it's going to be nice. You're going to enjoy the experience of coming, you know, having, laying on the table that's warm, that's heated. Mm -hmm. um, so that it, whatever part is undraped, you're still comfortable because if you're not comfortable, then you're going to tense up and the massage won't really be any good for you, won't be beneficial for you. So I want you to be comfortable. So aromatherapy is included um, in the mm -hmm. massage so that you, when you're laying face down, you smell the aromatherapy, you get a couple of options where you do peppermint or eucalyptus or lavender and just that aroma helps. You know, we start off the massage with some deep breathing to help get your nervous system just kind of like calm down. And so um, moist hot towels on the back and on the feet, um, hot packs um, when I'm finished with your back, your torso area, putting a nice hot pack on your back and just letting that heat penetrate further into your muscles. So all of those really nice amenities go into the massage as well. So I love the big picture of the holistic, but I really love the detail work of the massage itself as well. That is awesome. Well, I want to thank you again for joining us, Miss Dawn Smith. All her information is located in the description. So make sure you reach out to her. Make sure that you follow her. Make sure that you support Black business. Now, before I go, as always, I'm going to give you a Black history fact that you probably do not know. So the first Black Fortune 500 executive. In 1992, A. Barry Rand became the first Black chief executive officer of a Fortune 500 company, Xerox Corporation. Rand was born in Washington, D.C. He received his bachelor's degree from American University in 1968 and a master's degree in 1972 and in 1973 from uh, Stanford University. At Xerox, he served as president of field operations, Eastern operations, corporate vice president, senior vice president, and president of the U.S. Marketing Group. And since 1992, Executive Vice President of Operations. He serves on numerous boards, including Honeywell Incorporation, Abbott, um, Abbott Laboratories, and the College Retirement Annuities Fund, the CREF, and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. So the first Black Fortune 500 executive. Powerful, powerful stuff, guys. So make sure that you tune in tomorrow at 10 p.m. promptly. We will have another Black business. I want to thank everyone for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>